Yeah, you know, I, and glad you have that attitude though that you're not going to give up ground. Well, it it, it takes the strength because y'all, I, and I, I, you know, I just say it like it is. I don't really have much love of my own to give to the the cause of conservatism, Republican. I don't have it. I rely on the strength of the Lord to do it. Amen. You know, because you know, just the, like I said, the abandonment. You know, it's almost sound like I got abandonment abandonment issues, but. You know, in terms of it's 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 difficult, y'all, because a lot of people don't understand. Like you know, this this was my business. You know, this is this is what I did, and it's bad enough that with the shadow banning and stuff like that from Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Google, it's bad enough that they can't. But y'all, it was so easy. A lot of people. It's like once that happened, y'all, like this whole thing it dropped just like that. And trying to get back on your feet from something like this. When that just happens, just all of a sudden, boom, you just cut off. You make your 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 income was this, and now all of a sudden it's 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 vaporized. And then and then and it's frustrating when people think that they have all the answers for what happened to you. Well, you may should have you should have uh maybe you should have had an emergency fund to prepare. It's like y'all, okay, let, let me explain we something did, to you. But we, we did. <laughs> but those college educated people went to our bank, made my bank change my savings account to a checking account. And then from there, the state came in and wiped out my savings. Just like that. I went in. Zero. Not to mention health problems right? over the past few years. You know? So th that's, that's what happened, you know, with, with us. They're like, it's, uh, well, you, you, you should have done your due diligence and, and uh, had a savings account. Yeah, we did. And you can that, have a savings account, but if you have health problems to boot. You know, but, we, you know, we had our contingencies, y'all. I mean... You know, so, you know, with things like that, it's like, okay, well, you know what? I guess this is, we're not going to be able to do this. Uh, well, let me go ahead and I got to, I got to, um, I got to learn a new skill set. You know, what I've devoted to be able to, you know, do this, you know, with, with multimedia and stuff like that. Well, I guess uh, I can't use that anymore. Learn a new skill. Oh, well, no, you can't take out a student loan. You made too much money. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. Looks like I won't be uh, uh, going to school. Uh, let me go ahead and get back into doing this. Oh man, I'm gonna need some, uh, let me go ahead and uh, let me do some side work. I'm gonna have to do some side work. And before I know it, the state's already in there garnishing my wages. Because they're looking and say, oh, no, you made all this money. We're not done, take it from you. Enrollment agents, strip it, I just, you can't get back on your feet. No. Because they're already writing, you know, they, they take hundreds every month. Can't get back on my feet. So it doesn't matter, you know? And you're just left in a ditch. I see people all the time, uh, uh, you know, it's and yeah, it, it happens. Sometimes people just fall on hard times. You're trying to get back on your feet and you know, you can't. It's like, it's like this, the state is still treating me like I make six figures. Yeah. Right? They're not done. They're not done stripping us. Oh, they're not done. Right? So trying to save money, get back on my feet. Yeah, yeah, the state, they, 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 they're, they're making sure to keep their boot on my neck. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you if you need money for your health care. Yeah, <laughs> you know, you know, they, they, even though these are people who talk about everybody needs health care and stuff yeah. like that, no, they don't really care. No, right? So, you know, with that, y'all, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to say these things to to be like, woe is me. I'm just telling you, y'all, you know, it's hard to not lag and zeal. Like, say for instance, when I see people, I see it all the time. Um, you know, um, these people who have a, a, a prominent pro profile now and, they, and they'll send out things like, um, uh, who would you like to see on our show? Who would you like to see on our show next, right? And people will answer them by the thousands, y'all, by yeah. the thousands. And every once in a while, I'll see somebody mention me once, right? It was easy for me to be forgotten, easy. A lot of people thought I just quit and they just, you know, you know, so things like that, I'm like, why do I even bother? Why do I even do this? 
It's like, it's hard to not reflect on the, the years when I was doing this and, and I'd have the liberal trolls coming in and say, man, as soon as Obama is done being president, they're gonna forget about your black ASS and they're gonna forget about you and toss you to the curb. After Obama was done being president, that's exactly what happened. Now, I'm not gonna say that that didn't have some help with all the shadow banning and stuff like that, but it was easy. Yeah, it was white liberal facilitated. But... Right, you know, but the thing is, it wasn't just that, but people would even tell me, hey man, I don't wanna hear about that God stuff, man, I just want the politics, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, and, and when I made it clear to folks that look, look, it's not, you're gonna do yourself a disservice in presenting me a certain way. Don't present me as the black guy. I'm not the black mouthpiece for you. When I put my foot down on that and say, look man, I got a name. When I see headlines saying black guy, black reporter, black journalist takes on Obama and stuff like that, I say, man, don't list me that way. I got a name. You're not doing me a service. You're not doing yourself a service by doing that. You're lending fodder to these people to accuse us of tokenism. Don't yeah. do that, right? But when I put my foot down and I said, hey man, you can't use me like that. Oh, oh, well, bye. You're no use to us anymore. Yeah. We want black people who are okay with that. Obviously you're not. So we have no use for you anymore. You're not our tool. Right? I told him, man, I'm not your tool. It's, that's, not, it's, that, that does, that's not helpful, right? It's not a pride issue or anything like that. It's none of that. It's none of that. I'm trying to do you a favor. You don't want to go down this road. It's going to cause problems. You know? I try to tell, I try to tell conservatives all the time. Did you don't want to do that from the Confederate issues like man, you don't want to do it like that. You're doing it wrong I hear conservatives all the time all the time trying to to to, to defend America From the accusation of racism like what are you doing? If there are Democrats there's racism. Amen, right, but you you're so you're so <laughs> defensive Hello. of your national pride that you can't handle the word brings racism being thrown out there. And the more you do it, the more you become a magnet for that accusation to come towards you. The justice, oh, oh people are complaining. Oh, well, you know, this justice system is, is it racist? Of course it is. It's run by Democrats, ain't it? Yep. Justice system is legions of liberals, activist judges. Yep, exactly. Right? Kamala Harris, hello. Yep. Right? Come on, man. Hillary Clinton, hello. You know, right? You all want to downplay the prison industrial complex? You guys, they're, they're giving you, when they, when they make this in, they say, of course there's a prison industrial complex. You know why? Because Democrats are running the justice system. Of course there is. Mm -hmm. Is there racism in Hollywood? Yes. As soon as so you see a black person come out there, say, well, Hollywood is racist. Conservatives be out there, oh, there's another black person butt hurting about racism and stuff like that. <laughs> no. It's run by Democrats. What are you doing? Why do you do that? You have every, every opportunity that Republicans have to take the race narrative off of them and put it back where it belongs. Yep. They get defensive and they all of a sudden want to protect their whiteness and then, they, and, and then you got black conservatives out there wanting to run to their side and protect them too. Oh, they love them. <laughs> they don't want a person like me telling it like it is, telling you the truth of how this stuff works and how it's gonna play out in realville. So yeah, I hear stuff like this, man. And I'm like, yo, why bother? Do I lack in zeal? Yes, and I need the strength of the Lord to put it back. Because I know, because I ain't what? What are we supposed to do, just lay down and take it? So, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta keep going, y'all. Paul kept his head up. Ain't none of us suffered like Paul. Yeah. Paul kept his head yeah. off until they, he, he kept his head up until they took his head off. Yes. Right? And we acting like, no, I'm, so I'm tired of this. You know, I, whatever, I give up on these people. That's not what it takes, y'all. The strong, the really strong, strong in mind, right? Are the ones whose strength is facilitated by the Lord. In our weakness, he is made strong. So I gotta get over myself and say, and think that I got the strength to handle this? No, I don't. I don't have the stamina for this. I don't have the strength for this. But I know what happens if we don't, right? It's going, we think it's bad now, it's gonna get a lot worse. If you just decide to, hey, you know, I'm not, I'm just, forget if the infection spread, the spread, it's gonna crawl up your behind too, right? Don't do it. You gotta stay in there, you gotta stay the course. So, and, 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 and the thing is, is that you got these people out there who are, who are so sick of it, but they're, they're, ready, they're ready for a fight with these people though. 
It's like, why? This is a, what, what, you, you, you think that we should just go to blows with these people? You put more thought into doing that in the, in the, rather than actually telling these people the truth about the Lord? D- d- what, what's up with that? All this energy that we, that we put into thinking how, we're going, how this is going to go down, you know? Yeah. What are we doing to actually report of the Lord? I'm trying. That's one of the reasons why I'm trying to do it. I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to, you know, make myself like, you know, the good boy scout here, man. But it's look, <laughs> I want to at, at least you know, say, hey, hey, Lord, you know, I know that my righteousness ain't nothing but filthy rags, um, you know, but I, I hope I hope that you can see that we did, you know, make a, a regular a regular effort. You got yeah. some people who don't make an effort at all. You know, don't even try. They don't even want to get to know God. Now, I'm not trying to compare myself to these people, right? Whatever it is that I'm trying to do, that's, that's, that's nothing but rags. But the Lord did tell us, you know, to, to make disciples. Yeah. I want you to get out there and report to me. Okay, I hope, I hope that this is a blessing to the Lord that we try. Amen. And I put, and I want to put more into this and to trying to say, hey man, you dig this. This is the way right here, right? Now, does this mean that I'm all about, you know, uh, just wait until the last minute until these people are upon us? It's like, no, no, I'm, 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 I'm totally OK with the Bible in one hand and my gun in the other one. If I can't make you holy this way, I got this to make you holy another way. You know what I'm saying? Don't bring that nonsense here, but I'm going to try to tell you about this first. Let me do my due diligence to tell you. Look, man, this is what the word of God says. This is the way, man, right here. Right, let's let's break it down, man. Let's reason together, man. Let's let's talk about this. Oh, that's that's not gonna work for you, huh? Okay, so well, then, then we got then we got problems. So, but at least y'all do do we are we gonna make the effort? Are we gonna put more effort into trying to tell people the truth? Now look, man. You know, instead of, it's, it's, instead of depending on a politician to do it, hmm. yeah. We need a politician who's got a backbone who's gonna go in there. It's like, come on, man. That stuff don't matter. When are y'all gonna learn? Uh-huh. Yeah, Trump is going to win most likely. While you get your political victory, the culture is going to go crazier. Yep. Because we're not doing our due diligence in the culture. <laughs> right? We out there with our MAGA hats and all that sort of stuff and thinking that a politician, man, while we say the government's not the answer, we always think a politician is going to fix this thing. Yes, well said. So I don't get it, man. It's not, it's not commonsensical at all. Mm-mm. You know? But that's where we are. Conformed to the world. Amen. Right? People want, yeah. it's like too many people don't want to hear this, right? So, you know, don't lag in your zeal, man. You got to keep on going. It's frustrating. I know it is. I deal with it every day, you know? I'm like, why, man? Why? It's, 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 you know, and I'm so, I'm so thankful for those of y'all who still tune in, man. I'm, I'm, I'm grateful to y'all. It's a blessing, you know? But I hope that folks can see my frustration in that, what my audience you know, was, and then like that, evaporated, it's gone. You know, this ain't like some Facebook jail thing. This is my business. Yeah. It was my career, right? It's what I did. And like that, it's taken, and to try to, like I said, and try to, to, to retool and learn a new skill set, not as easy as some people think, right? And there's obstacles with that too. And I said, you know, don't get me wrong. You know, we get over obstacles. That's what you gotta do. You gotta adapt, right? But y'all, it's like when you've got, Yo, uh, clients, yo, yo, customers. This is like the, this is like the right there, but it's like it's like a phantom, right? It's, like I said, I've I've got enough people subscribed to what it is that I do to facilitate my livelihood, but it's like they're a phantom. What would you do, right? If you knew that you had all this clientele right here, all this potential, this this potential right here, would you just drop that, right? When that's that's your livelihood right there. And then we, and to try to do something like, well, well, what, what other career choice would I have? You know? So, you know, when, when, and, and when people just, just forget and no matter, and, and even your own friends, your friends who are supposed to be in the entertainment industry with you, right? They, they, they won't mention you because they don't want to be outed, right? They're afraid for their career and they, they treat you like a leper. You can put out new content and all that sort of stuff, you know, doesn't matter. They don't want to be associated with you. They don't yeah, want people to God. find, right? They don't want to find, they don't want people to find out that, you know, you know each other. So that's what it's like 
even in the entertainment, in conservative Hollywood. Ha ha ha. <laughs> right? Concern, you know, conservatives, which is kind of almost like really a, a non existent thing. They really think of themselves as classical liberals anyway. Right? So, and that's what you'll get. So, all that to say, y'all, I get really frustrated, but y'all, like I said, that ain't nothing compared to Paul, so what excuse do I have? If I was just to give up, that would make me such a punk. <laughs> right? I ain't trying to be no punk. On my own, I'm a punk, but that's why I rely on the strength of the Lord to just like, Lord, just help me to keep going. Help me to, I just want to keep, I just want to tell the truth. You're worth it. You're worth it. I'm just going to keep trying to tell the truth because I know that if I don't, then I become part of a problem. Amen. Right? As the saying goes, you know, evil happens when good men do nothing. You just want to yeah. give up and, you know. So I ain't trying to, you know, compel or push anybody to do anything. It's like, look, man, I'm just trying to tell the truth. This is what the word says, you know, and I try to walk and talk in it. We try to walk and talk in it. Yeah. You know? All right. So, um, Rejoicing in hope, enduring in distress, persisting in prayer, uh, contributing to the needs of the Kiddushim, extending hospitality. Um, okay, so 11. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. Okay, so when we talk about blessing those who persecute you, all we think that that means like rewarding people. No, when you when you were talking about blessing people who persecute us, and that's what we're dealing with right, with right now, you think these people are gonna act any better by by you cursing them? That's the funny thing. It's like, like oh, what you? It's, it's a hard thing, y'all. I know it is. I, <laughs> that's I, what I, our flesh wants. I know it is, man. <laughs> we want to. We just want to rip these people a new one for how they how they do us, as if that's gonna make them act better. Yeah. That's the thing about it, man. And our instinct, our human instincts. That's why this Bible, man. That's, that's why you know this Bible can't be written by man because it goes against our every instinct. Preach it. Right? Yes. It has to be God breathed, yes. whose ways are not our ways. And the word of God is telling us, yeah, bless them. What? Mm. That's that that can't be no man written right. stuff. Right. <laughs> right? It's telling you to but that's not that's not necessarily mean to reward them, y'all. But bless them. It's like, look, man, you know, it's it, it, if you and yeah, and, and don't get me wrong, y'all, it's some of these people need making fun of. It's 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 okay to satirize these people, yes. But you gotta make but pray for them, y'all. Yeah. You you think you you think yo yo you think our profound intellect is gonna change these people? <laughs> really, we're 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 just gonna come in with our amazing intellect. If they're as stupid as we think they are, mm. these stupid people who are running everything, by the way. Yeah. You know, making the the inventions that wow we didn't make. Yep. They're making all the stuff that we're using. <laughs> right? They can't be that dumb. So, but these people who are supposed to be so stupid, you know. Uh, you know, what good is it for us to try to reason with them? Mm. So, but what you can do is that you can pray for them. I, I, I know, man. Pray, that's, maybe that's some superstitious nonsense to some people that don't do that. <laughs> right? To the educated. Right? Yeah. It's, you know, but, but um, you know, and I see all these people out there. Pray for Donald Trump. Pray for Donald Trump. Y'all forgetting to pray for your enemies. Actually, maybe, yeah. it's like, maybe yeah. it would be nice if some people would actually try to take some of that burden off of Trump instead of just praying for him so much. Why don't you pray for these, in, for these, for these enemies to get it? Because in your own intellect, in our own intellect, we don't have really that much of a, a chance to change. It would take a miracle to change their mind, wouldn't it? Well, that's not our job. Miracles are in the hands of the Lord. And, he can, and if we're going to do a miracle, it'll be by his power. And yeah, it'll probably take a miracle to, to, to change these people. Mm -hmm. You ain't gonna do it with your intellect. That's true. Haven't you seen that? Well, oh, these people are too stupid to get that anyway. <laughs> right? How, 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 how they go? How be, they're, they're not smart enough to register your intellect as it is, <laughs> right? So, but rather than just feeling that, hey, we need to destroy these people, and unfortunately, y'all, you know, God willing, it doesn't come to that. It might have to be that way because they think the same thing. They gotta destroy us. Yeah. And it may come to that. May, may come to where, you know, we, we're at war in the streets. May come to that. It's already start beginning to. Right? Right? Better start praying. But should, we should have been doing that. Pray for these people, man. You know, you, you too good for that? You know? It's, it's easier for you to think about mowing somebody down than it is for you to think about praying for somebody. That's a problem with the world, man. Oh, I think about it myself. Wanting to get my hands on some of these people. Man, when I think about that, man, that's when I need to put my hands together. I need to start praying for these people. 
Why is it that it's more easy for us to think about just getting a whole one to you and just, and just <laughs> nailing them? What's easier to think about that than to just drop to your knees and say, Lord, help these people. Help them to receive your peace and truth. Lord, get to them before I do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That might be a better prayer to start with. <laughs> right? Lord, please get to these people. Well, but, you know, but hey, but. <laughs> At least you could start somewhere. <laughs> or, 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 or at least in the sense of, Lord, move through me to be able to get the one. Because here's the thing, y'all. No matter what it is that you think that you can do to these people to, to, to dispatch your punishment to these people, when the Lord comes, it ain't going to be nothing. You might as well tickle these people compared to what the Lord is coming to do. Amen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to try to design some sort of punishment or what sort of special place in hell that you think you can design for these people. The Lord's got it all worked out. Ain't nothing, ain't no kind of justice that you can pull on these people that the Lord can't already do. His justice will be sufficient. Ain't nothing that you got for these people that's going to change them. That's going to punish them. We ain't got nothing for that. All right. But the Lord can give it to us. That's the best chance that we got. Y'all, some days, you know, we're not going to reach all these people. Y'all, even the angels themselves, who are a lot smarter than we are, even decided that they didn't, they, they rejected the truth. That happens to people, too. So, you know, but the best chance that we have is our reliance on the Lord. And we're not doing that to, re, to, te, to, to learn of who Yeshua is. Not learn about what he's going to do for us, right? Not just learning about how much he loves us. See, y'all need to understand that Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Who loves you? It's, it's not enough to say Jesus loves you because oh, you, can make, you can make up your own ideas of who this Jesus is who loves yes. you. You might want to actually get to know who it is who loves you. Amen. Get to know him according to who he says he is. That is the remedy for the world. Yes. That's the remedy, not college, not your intellect, not your politicians. That's not what it is. I'm not saying that we don't need these things, but if, if that's where you think that these answers are, you're dead wrong. The answer begins with Yeshua. It's him who is the law, who is the logic, who is the reason, who is the instruction. It's him. So. Anything else is a pursuit of the wind. Mm. So, you know, you don't want to go down, but people, well, we've already gone down that road. Yeah. It's a hard hole to get out of, y'all. Hard. Sure is. All right. So, bless those who persecute you, right? Start praying for these people, man. You know, let them know. It's, you know, even when you take your digs at them, right? Just let them say, look, man, you know, I, I, I pray for a little, and I don't even do it all the time, and it's hard. <laughs> but that's what the strong do. The strong do the difficult things. Let's yeah. be strong, y'all, and let these folks know. Say, look, man, I, I pray that you receive the Lord's peace and truth. Right? And by the way, you know, Nancy, you look funny with all that. But, you know, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we, we, we saw you on video, Nancy, but, hey, we, I'm praying for you, girl. <laughs> receive the Lord's peace and truth. All right? Yeah, 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 hypocrite. We see, like, <laughs> you're a right. hypocrite, you know? <laughs> but you're cursing these people and stuff like that, you know? The, I see so how sometimes conservatives, they, 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 they use these lewd uh, language against, you know, e or the female politicians that you sound yeah. just like liberals. Exactly. Hypocrites, what does it tell Doesn't it tell you to love without hypocrisy? Yeah. What do we say? Let love, wait, let, let love be without hypocrisy. You got all this love for the country and you have all this love for these values and stuff like that. And then you turn around and be hypocrites with it. Right. Acting just like liberals. Yep. Sounding just as misogynistic as they do. Yes. Objectifying as they do. Right. While you think that they're the, the, the lower people and you're <laughs> acting just like them. Yeah. Right. I see it all the time, man. You know, so why don't we try doing the real strength and let's 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 pray for these people. Amen. All right. Um. Bless, do not curse. And we talk about curse, y'all. We're actually talking about wishing doom on these people, right? Like we want these people to, to die, right? The Lord himself, man, I don't, I, don't, I don't delight in the destruction of the wicked. I want them to see the light and live. Our heart and our mind should be like, man, because we, like I said, we're thinking about how, how we're going to destroy these people, right? 
maybe if we put more thought into how we can get this word to these people, get the truth to these people, rather than think about how we can destroy them, yeah. you know, the world would be better. <laughs> it ain't just all about what liberals need to do. Right. That's how that's what conservatives want to hear. They want to hear these these uh, uh, these people talk about how stupid liberals are. Get out the phone, you big dope. That's all they want to hear. Red meat of how stupid liberals are. They don't ever want to hear about what they might want. Conservatives, are, hey, conservatives, this is what you might be doing. Because like I said, we think the liberals are stupid. Right. Well, if they're stupid, then they can't get as far as they're getting without help. And you're helping them. Amen. Conservatives fail to realize how much they help yeah. liberals get as far as they do. Mm. And when you try to tell them, they just turn you off. And that's one of the mm. reasons why I get to like, and I'm like, cause I'm like, God, you know, my career has based on being able to commute a message with people. You know, for a, for a minute I was, I was effective in reaching liberals. And when the liberal overlord saw that I was effective at that, they, t they turned my voice off. I was like, we can't have that. Yeah. We can't ha have that. And with the conservatives, it's like, oh, Zo who? Right? So, you know, the, the help that they have to be able to do that, they, they, they can't see that. They can't, they, that the kind of efficacy can't be out there. They can't have somebody who doesn't conform to their narrative. Yeah. Right? And people like wonder, you know, well, why, how come, you know, this person has been shadow banned or this person shadow the alibis guy? Uh -huh. You know? You got alibis. And then also you have these people who fit into what liberals can be able to say fits with their narrative of how they can try to accuse these people. They yeah. fit that. I don't. I don't fit that model. Right. So it's like I'm one of the cats that they had to shut up like really quick. because yeah. I don't fit it. So and things like that, you know, it makes it hard to, to want to pray for these people. It makes me very angry. But. Paul, <laughs> Paul endured a lot worse. Here I am. I'm upset about, you know, the people that I was, I've been trying to help. I've been trying to help because I believe. And because I look at the word of God, I'm like, yeah, these are the things I think are, are, are more lined up with the conservative principle mm -hmm. and what the Republican Party was founded on. And I understand that these things are going to be need to, to, to be put in place to try to help preserve our republic. This team that is built on this. Yeah. You know? So I see that, but I'm like, what, whatever it's become today, I'm like, man, I don't, I don't really recognize y'all anymore. Oh, no. And it um, makes me like, well, why, why bother, why? You know, but I look at Paul and Paul's like, yeah, man, I, I was trying to help the same, uh, in the same way. You know, you trying to help, you trying to, to, to help uh, your people in this, people on your team, I get you, man. Yeah, I was doing the same thing. But what, how many times did I flog, flog like five times? You know, what Paul endured, y'all, they would have killed the average man. That's true. What yeah. Paul went through, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not only would what Paul went through probably would have killed the average man, the average man probably would have killed himself. Yes. For what Paul went through. Paul stayed hard in the yard, y'all. That is so true. You see, man, it's, I, I, I don't even know if I'm, I'm a 16th of, of the man that Paul was. To be able to say, look, man, okay, we got this. Let me, let's go do it again. Let's go do it again. Right? He didn't give up. He didn't just say, I'm done. I'm done with y'all. Jesus! <laughs> right? <laughs> Jesus, Jesus, thank God Jesus didn't say, I give up on y'all. Thank God, man. Jesus didn't just say, I give up on you. Right? So, who am I? What, 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 in, in, the, in the freest nation in the world, you know, who am I to just say, ah, whatever, I'm done. I, I, I give up, right? Just, that would just, that's sissy feel. That's, <laughs> that's sissy feel right there. I can't do that. <laughs> you know? That, in, that, see, y'all, this, this is the thing to understand, man. In this pro tem existence that we have we gonna have some problems can you hang on to the word of God can you hang on to what he's doing can you can you no matter what comes can you just still keep on going right rather than be the kind of person who's like uh 
I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Right. Or, or uh, the person when it talks about having this measure of faith, when it talks about having this measure of faith, y'all. And what did you do with it? Did you grow it? Did you try to tell anybody about it? See, because here's the thing, y'all. If in this pro tem existence that we have, if, we, if, if you're willing to just give up, if I was just willing to just say, fine, forget it, I'm done, and just walk off of it, right? You think you can handle heaven? You think you can handle the eternal? Because God is looking for people with integrity, y'all. Yeah. You're going to occupy heaven. You need some integrity. You need his integrity. Yes. You need his integrity to keep on going. If you're not willing to assume his integrity, take on his integrity oh. to keep on going here in the pro tem, you'll take his integrity for granted while you're there. Oh, that's and good. heaven won't be heaven anymore. Wow. That's not some theory. Because let me tell you what. Here's the thing, y'all. How good do you think the angels had it? They had it real oh, good. Oh, yes. They had it real good. Adam and Eve had it real good. Hmm. All right? But they just couldn't resist making some problems. Yeah. They just, they, 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 the integrity just dropped. Even in their perfect dwelling, hmm. they couldn't keep it together. Right? Wow. So if you think that you can just be here and just be the kind of person, ah, you know, I know this. What's the point of telling people about God? What's the point of like, oh, I just give up and all that sort of stuff? I was, if I was that kind of person, I would have no place in heaven because I wouldn't have the integrity for it. Yeah. And your integrity is based on you taking on the integrity of the Lord. He facilitates it. He yes. mortifies it. If you are not humble enough to say, Lord, give me the strength mm. to keep on going. If you ain't down to put to rely on the strength of the Lord right now. You will not be relying on his strength when you're there. Mm. And heaven will break down. It's happened before. That's a good word. Even in perfection, it happened before. Just think of it, man. They had everything. I don't want this anymore. God, I don't see you. I want my truth. I will ascend north of your throne. That's what you get. I don't want to be one of those people. Amen. I don't want to be people, one of those people that would make heaven suck. <laughs> because I don't have the integrity to hang on right here. Look at the, what the, these people went through. Ain't none of us gone through anything like that. So, you know, for me, y'all, it's, it's, I gotta stay the course. And I, and yeah, I, I, I gotta remind, be reminded of it every day. Cause tomorrow I'm gonna wake up and guess what? I'm gonna be like, man, screw this. <laughs> oh Lord, help me out here. I'm tired of doing this, right? putting things out there that hardly anybody sees. I'm tired. I'm trying to tell people the truth and I'm just, I'm just blown off if I'm not hidden, right? That's no matter how I try to reach people, I send out uh, uh, my, my mailers, people who ask me on my mailing list, hardly anybody reads them, right? I get more people who unsubscribe to my mailers than I do get people who join them, practically, right? They don't want, any, they don't want my mails. But the only reason why I mail out people is just so I can thank people who, 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 who keep trying to support my work. So thankful for y'all. That's why I send out mailers. But it's not like really people really want to, a lot of people really want to get them. I don't have a lot of people on my mailing list anyway. Right? About what, 600? That, that might surprise a lot of y'all. Only about 600. And out of that 600, I think probably only about 34 people actually click the content that I send them. Right? So I'm like, each, each time I get my analytics, it's, it's a heartache. It's like, man, people don't even want to, they don't, they don't care. I know it's not just Facebook and, and YouTube and Twitter and all that, 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 that just hides my stuff. There's a lot of people who are in my audience that all of a sudden, I don't, my work doesn't matter to them anymore. That's a heartache that I got to deal with like every day. You know? And so I'm like, why? Why bother? Why do this? You know? So, you know, put out, you know, a new album, people that complaining about the music industry and all the smut that's promoted, you know, while saying that nobody cares what these people think and all of a sudden they care about what they think when they say something halfway conservative. And they can be the biggest heathens, but as long as they say something, you know, halfway conservative, people love them all of a sudden while saying nobody cares what they think, right? So I try to put out music, y'all. It's got a, a no, no cuss words or anything like that. It's just clean music and, and whatnot. You know, conservatives would rather complain about what liberals are doing in music than actually support what conservatives are doing in music. And conservatives in the entertainment industry, they'll, they'll, they don't want to honor anybody, right? 
I saw that with the Gosnell movie. I saw a lot of people out there, uh, you know, uh, people who were supposed to be conservatives in Hollywood, they didn't want to associate with the movie at all because they didn't want to be outed. The strange reason, it's like, it's, some of y'all are already outed, but you don't want to be associated with this. Okay. I saw that too. I saw a lot of, a lot of people who were promoting the movie, right? Promote, uh, um, who were who uh, contributors to the movie. And there were some uh, conservatives who were promoting the movie. Never mentioned that I was in it. Never mentioned. A lot of people don't even know that I was in that movie, Right? I see that stuff all the time. And I'm like, man, why bother? Why do I bother with this? Right? And it's not, don't get me wrong, y'all, because it's not like I'm looking for recognition or anything like that. It's not that. The heartache isn't trying to get the message out there. Just trying to do my part to get the message out there. Yeah. Right? So in doing that, you know, it's, uh, it's a, like, kind of like a slap in the face every day. Every day. You know? Uh, because the thing is, so it's like I've, I've always tried to avoid like really making it about me, but about the message and how I can get the message out there. But conservatives want, you know, those out there who are fire breathers who are making it about them. Yeah. That's what they want, right? They want those people who are looking to yell and, you know, scream at other people in debates and all that sort of stuff and, and uh, you know, and whatnot. And I'm like, man, I'm not trying to, you know, give myself a headache trying to yell at somebody who, who's not interested in what I got to say, right? You know, so it's like, a, no, I don't, I don't want to do that. You know, if you want to hear what I got to say, you can come and, you know, and, and check me out right here. But to, to be like, to make some sort of spectacle of like, you know, uh, debating with somebody, you know, uh, just to, to see who's the right person, you know, just trying to be right in the moment as opposed to speaking for what's right for the country. That's not my thing. I'm not downing anybody who does it. That's just not me. Yeah. Right. I'm not a, I'm not a jock for, for camera time position kind of guy. It's not my thing. Right. And I've been on these shows, y'all, and the things I've been on these shows and man, I've, I've sat down on, on, on national shows where the producer will come and actually tell me, can you, um, can you bring down the intellectual <laughs> arguments that you're making? I, I've actually been told this guys yeah. a couple of times and I'm like, Man, I'm not even I'm not even trying to drop intellectual arguments on it. I'm just giving you common sense. Yeah. Right? That's frightening. But I've actually had producers tell me to, to dumb it down for people. So I'm like, I'm it's, it's a why Dumb it down for the educated, honey. Whoa! Come on now. <laughs> Come on, you know what I'm saying? These people are supposed to be highly educated and they want me, a high school dropout. A high school dropout to dumb it down for the college educated. <laughs> Look at God. Right? <laughs> Look at God. You know what I'm saying? So I've actually, I'm like, why? What, what do I need to go on these shows for? What do I need to depend on their platforms for? Why? Why? Just to be told? And, and so they can present me as somebody who's not as, as fortified as I am? To want me to come in and half step? Why? So these liberals out there can accuse me of being a half step and step and fetch it? Of course I feel like giving up on this all the time. You know? But this is what they want to present me. And when I've decided, no, man, I ain't gonna do that. No use for me anymore. So, y'all, I get it. And I talk about this a lot in my book, A Solid Right Cross. To understand it's like, yeah, dude, I get why people want to give up on this stuff. I, I get why people don't want to call themselves a Republican anymore. I get why people don't want to be part of it. I get it. But y'all, when you do that, you give room, you give up ground for the problem to come in even deeper. That's what happens. You know, you're going to trade one complication for the other. Yeah, that's true. So, um, you know, that being said, um, let's not be lagging in zeal. And we, you know, honor each other and, and, and pray each other up, you know, and, you know, encourage, you know, each other uh, to keep on going. All right. So where it says, um, let's see, do not be proud. <laughs> and there's another, is that, oh, aren't we just proud Americans? Oh, I'm proud to be an American. Right. I can't stand that song. Can't stand it. Right. Oh, that song is hideously generic and I can't stand the message of it. <laughs> right? I'm proud to be an American. How come people ain't grateful to be Americans? Yeah. Why is it that conservatives think that pride in their hands is a good thing? Wow. Pride, you good. know, it's like in the hands of conservatives, it's good. It's wow. good to be proud to be an American. We see what pride does. Yeah. 
Yeah. White pride, brown pride, black pride, gay pride. <laughs> All that stuff is bad. But it's good to be proud to be an American. <laughs> what is it? Oh, wow, man. Well, they know better than God. Yeah, well, it's, 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 it's good for us to be proud. It's, if that's okay, it's like, no, dude. Pride is the first sin. Why would you, why would you think that that's a good thing? It's not. Yeah. Maybe we were more grateful to be Americans, that'd be something Amen. different, right? I hear that song, I'm proud to be an American. <laughs> it's like, dude. And, 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 and then what's worse, y'all, and, and, and no disrespect to the people who serve in our military. And then when it goes and say, and I won't forget the men who died, who gave that right to me. Ain't no service person gave me my rights. True. The Lord gave me my rights. I never thought about that. Yeah. They protect my rights, and I am grateful for that. Amen. I'm grateful for what they gave to protect my rights. But y'all get the language right. Nobody gave me my rights. God gave me my rights. God gave you your rights. Ain't nobody gave you your rights. No politician, no soldier, nobody gave you your rights. Protect your rights. That's another honor in itself. Amen. And it, and it does them more honor. It does them even more honor to say that they protected your rights. But we play that song every Patriotic the event there is, as if that's the only song that we have. Yeah. Don't support any other music. Don't support any of that. Just this one song, I'm proud to be in it. That's all we got. <laughs> oh, maybe we'll play something by Kid Rock. You know, a flipping heathen. You know, play that. You know, it, but it's not much variety going on there. <laughs> not much variety. Uh, you know, we play that song, and I, like I said, I can't stand that song. Can't stand it. Um, so, anyway, <laughs> um, repay, let me see, repay no one evil for evil. Don't we just want to do that? We want to make sure that people hurt as much as we do. All right. Um, but it doesn't mean that there's no justice, y'all. It doesn't mean that there's no punishment for it. But y'all, when you, when you go at it from a, from a point of, of a, a malicious mindset, then you're no better than the people that uh, yeah. you think have brought injustice to you. Um, give thought to what is good in the eyes of all people. Be careful with that, y'all, and that's what it's telling you. Um, in other translations say, be, cons be, be consider what is good in the eyes of all people. You wanna do good, of course, but you gotta consider what is good in the eyes of, don't be trying to, you know, uh, it, don't be malleable like that. Mm. All right, consider what is good. Make sure that when you do, because some people, no matter what you do, some people are gonna see what you do as evil. Yep. Right, even when you're trying to do good. But you gotta be, be careful that you're not pandering or you know, patronizing or anything like that and trying to be good, you know, to, to um, um, be a politician, basically, yeah. <laughs> right? Do what's right, consider what you're doing is right, consider with the word of the Lord, what is right, do that because that is beneficial for all people. That will be beneficial, even if they think you're doing evil, right? It's beneficial for all, all right? Amen. Uh, let's see. Um, if possible, so far as it depends on you, live in shalom with all people, right? As far as it depends, if possible. Sometimes it just ain't possible to live in peace. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, a fight breaks out. But if you, if you can avoid it, and how you can avoid it is Lock in on this. Amen. Try to stay there, right? Try to teach. Let people know. You know, this is what the word God. You get, learn about the Lord. Learn about learn about Him. He is the law. He is the instruction. He's the way. Hey, okay? learn of Him, and try to, you know, convey that message. Put your energy there. Yeah. You know, and sometimes these people they, they may not want to hear. It. They may not want to hear it, right? And they want to get in your face and all that sort of stuff. What you think? Uh, uh, uh you gonna you gonna shout them down? You know, it's like you may have to be like, OK, man, you know, is it, it would be idiotic for me to sit here and argue with you. Yeah. Right. I ain't got time for that. <laughs> you know, I've told you the truth. You don't want the truth. All right. Bye. You can have the last word. I already know I got the right one. All right. Yeah. So, so I'm out. And, um, you know, now if that person wants to try to follow you and try to put their hands on you. All right. Then we got We got another issue. All right. Uh, so it's like it's not like Jesus is teaching us to be like, you know, just be punks. Right. Sometimes you may have to defend yourself. Uh, but chances are you really going to come to a fight if you're going to sit there and argue with them. 
At some point, you have to understand, hey, this person is not listening. And I'm not going to try to sit here and be like, you know, the, the, the big tough guy in the room. It's like, look, man, okay. All right. God bless you. I'm out. That's hard, man. <laughs> That's hard. I know it is. I know. I, I, I know it is, y'all. You know, but that's what the strong are able to do. Yeah. The strong do the difficult things, man. All right. Um, let's see. Never take your own revenge. Because that's what we're talking about, y'all. When we think that we're going to do this justice, man, you might be vengeance minded in it. Yeah. And when you go down that road, that means your heart, is ha- your, your heart has murder. Mm. Okay. You want to get out there. You want to smash these people and all that sort of stuff. You know, you, you itching for a fight, you know, with these people. Start praying. Cause you'll take you'll 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 take to the field, man, with a heart of murder. Don't do that. Don't do it. I I I, I know how a lot of us feel, man. It's like you see these this stuff going on in the news. You see these Antifa people and BLM and stuff like that. It's like, man, it's like, man, I wish they would. I wish I wish they would try to get up in my face and try to tell me to like raise my fist in solidarity and stuff like that. Man, I will raise my fist right and never. Come on now. <laughs> if I if I'm telling you, if I raise my fist in solidarity with you, you go hurt. You will hurt if you try to come up on me telling me to raise my fist. We're going to have some problems. I feel you. I feel you on that. Start praying it don't happen. Start praying yeah. that these that you don't encounter. Start praying mm. that these people start standing down. Amen. We got to, man. Uh-huh. You know, as you know, I know it's hard, y'all. It's the, almost the thought of it is delicious. <laughs> It's all inside. It's like, oh man, I'm gonna start. You know, I feel my mouth watering a little bit. It's like, man, I, oh my goodness, I, I wish one of you, oh, please bring that nonsense my way. That's that's a that's a that's a weak temptation to give into. Yeah. You know, that just, that that don't bring me no no honor, no favor from the Lord, nothing like that. You know, if if it does happen, I pray that the Lord is with me. You know. For, for my protection and for theirs. <laughs> but <laughs> really, y'all, I'm not trying to say that I'm like some Bruce Lee that is like, but, but you know, when you start thinking about that, anybody thinks that there's like, oh man, I wish they would. It's like, dude, you, ne- you never know. Yeah. Right? Uh, but one thing I do know is that you better hope the Lord is with you. All right? Yes. I would hope that the Lord would be with me. And, um, but I don't, I don't, I know that that's wrong to entertain such things. You want to be prepared, sure. Mm-hmm. But, the, but you better start your preparedness with the word of God, though. Amen. Base it on that. That way, if you, if you are engaged by these people, that murder isn't in your heart. See people getting in fights, man, the mouth kill you, man. Yeah. Out of the mouth, the heart speaks, right? Words have meaning. You know, it's in our instincts. Our heart is desperately wicked. We're violent people. We're, we're by nature, we're predators. We have a heart to kill. We have a mind to kill. We have the faculties to kill. And when you start going down this road of how, you go, how we're going to engage these people and you meet these people on the field, because right now the field of battle could be in your own residency. Yep. It's coming, right? Start praying that these people start standing down. Start fortifying yourself with the word of God for where for when it does happen. And if they do and you find these people in your space that you defend yourself out of love of what you're protecting and out of your love for God. Amen. And you're not acting out on vengeance. We I just, I have to pray for this for I pray this for you. I pray this for me. You know that, you know, if you have to, you know, um, engage these people that it's not coming from a place of of hatred, vengeance, and of course, murder, right? Wow. Because look at how it's being played out right now. You defend yourself, say you have to defend yourself even with fire, you're gonna be seen as the murderer. Yep. Yeah, that's that, true. That's where we're at right now. Because, hey, it's college educated people who are making these laws for us to where you can't even defend yourself. So y'all, before, consider what it is that we're, that we're coming up against. You know, as as these days go forward, this ain't nothing to mess around with, man. We're in a spiritual war. It's manifested in a cultural political war, and it's because and it's not and it's going to become a uh, a war of fire. So, 
don't take the spiritual war lightly. It's a real thing. And you might, well, if, you're, if you're understanding that a fight is, is, um, is mounting, has mounted, then you might want to make sure that you are um, getting yourself recruited under our general. Not real, and that real general is the Lord himself. Amen. Be his sheep, y'all. You got a lot of conservatives out there that think that being a sheep is something to be afraid of or something to be ashamed of. It's not, it's the, the best being conformed to the world to think that being a sheep is that we talk about sheep or we talk about these liberal sheep. To be a sheep ain't nothing to be afraid, it's nothing to be ashamed of because you'll be a sheep led by a lion, mm. right? If you're, if you're a man in battle and if you're a sheep, then you're a ram. And everybody knows that a ram is a representation of battle. Yeah. The mightiest have rams. Even, the, even Ares, the so-called god of war, is represented by a ram. Heck, even Skeletor had a ram on his scepter, <laughs> right? So why would you be ashamed of something like that? <clears throat> ram is, is, is represented with his head because a ram is headstrong, right? So it's, you, you're talking about the strength of mind and the strength of your ability to plow through things. So there's no shame in being a sheep, especially when you're led by the Lion of Judah. Amen. So, and, and not only that, the most glorious, glorious act that a man has ever done is in the work of Jesus Christ who was represented by a lamb. Why are you afraid of, why, mm. why are you ashamed of being a sheep? Yes. Why are you afraid? Why are you afraid of that? Ashamed and afraid. When you're, you're, gonna, you're afraid that somebody's gonna see you as weak. You know, so that's where we need to be. Somebody is it, it's sad. Part of it is, is that you got you got conservatives out there that are that are more proud to be called a deplorable than a sheep. You know, wow. oh, we're deplorables. We're deplorables. We wear that as a badge of honor. Call a conservative a sheep and they'll get offended. <laughs> right. I'm sheep. I don't care. Amen. Right. Yep. Thankful to be one. Pleased to be in the in the Lord's flock. Best place to be. Here, here. Right. Um, let's see. Let's close this out. I've been rambling long enough. I'm closing. <laughs> Never take your own revenge, loved ones, but give room to God's wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, says Adonai. Rather, if your enemy is hungry, oh, I know y'all have a hard time with this one. We can't stand this one, man. We don't like this. One. If your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. For by doing so, you will heap coals of fire upon his head do not overcome uh, by evil do not be overcome by evil but overcome evil with good I, I conservatives hate that one we get like I remember like with Guantanamo Bay and it get more and stuff like that we'd be so mad oh my god they're eating better than <laughs> yeah, I remember that. they get their food you know uh, you know in in uh with the, what is that that the, the halal diet you know they make sure that their food is all good now y'all of course this doesn't just mean what we think it means. When it's talking about feeding your enemy mm -hmm. if, if they're hungry and feeding and giving them something to drink if they're thirsty, y'all, it's not just about rewarding them with food and drink. The food and the drink is the word of God. Oh, I like that. If they're hungry, feed them. God says, I give you the food. If you, you eat this, man, you won't be hungry anymore. You yeah. drink this, you won't be thirsty anymore. True. What's he talking about? He's talking because a lot of people out there, they're searching and searching for truth. They're hungry for truth. They're thirsty for truth. They try all these things. They'll try these different religions. They'll try these right. different therapies, yes. different psychology. They'll try all these things, trying to fill a void because they're so hungry. So Yeshua says, you eat this, you will not be hungry anymore because you have found the ever sustaining truth. And it's true. Right? <laughs> you drink this, you will not be thirsty anymore. You have found what it takes to quench your thirst. You ain't gonna be going yes. for, for, for um, or trying to wander through the desert, looking from oasis to oasis, trying to find that fountain. You ain't gonna find it. It's right here. Now, you drink from this, you have found what will quench your thirst. You eat this, you have found what will satiate your hunger. That's what the word is talking about. So when this is talking about feed the hungry, Feed them the word of God because these people are searching and they're hungry. They're hungry for truth. Hungry for it. Now, some of them, you know, you, you try to feed them the meat of truth. Yeah, they'll throw it up. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to happen. All right. Sometimes you ain't going to reach everybody. Right. Like I said, even some of the, even the angels, they didn't get it. 
They watched God lay the foundations of the universe. They were created first to witness that. That's why they're called messengers. Angels who were qualified to testify. Yeah, dude, we were there. If you're gonna believe anybody, you, 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 we're among those that you can believe because we were there. We were created to watch God put all this stuff together, right? And even they were just like, yeah, I want my own truth. Oh, yeah. That's so frightening. Right? You don't think that can happen to us? It happens to us all the time. Yeah. So in this, y'all, um, we're trying to tell people this, 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 the, the, the thing that they look for. They're, they're, they're hungry for something. You see these people out there, they, they act like starving maniacs, right? They're hungry for something. Running in the store, you see these boys running in the stores, just going there looking for something, grabbing it and saying, why are you grabbing a bunch of girls' clothes? What you gonna do with that? They running into these stores, the boys. And I, I mean, I get it, transgenderism and all that sort of stuff. It's like, <laughs> seriously, man, what are you looking for? They're looking for something. I don't know, they just wanna take with somebody that you're hungry, like starving maniacs. Yeah. You know, just, just rabidly thirsty. Like, like literally, like rabbit animals. That's, that's, that's like a, a, a symptom of, of, of rabies, right? Yeah. You can't swallow and just, just thirsty and just need something to, to satiate their thirst. What you gonna give them, right? They looking for something. Why don't we put that energy in trying to satiate that hunger? That's what he's talking about right here. If they're hungry, feed them. We see that these people are hungry, feed them the word. You see these people are thirsty, Give them a drink of that word. We ain't doing that, right? All we want to talk, we, y'all, don't get me wrong, y'all, because we say, well, no, there's church programs that, no, 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 All these things are doing is trying to tell people what Jesus is going to do for them. Yeah. That's what a lot of this stuff is. Jesus loves you. Yeah. And this is what he's going to do for you. Jesus who? Yeah, exactly, honey. You tell them that this Jesus loves you, and they say, okay, great, Jesus loves me. And then, and then they start making up an idea of who Jesus is. And Jesus is okay with, with uh, he's a, he's, he accepts abortion, and Jesus is okay with gay marriage, and Jesus be okay with me smoking weed, and Jesus is okay with, he's a socialist, and then they start making up ideas of who this Jesus who loves them is. Yeah. And Jesus is like, man, I don't know you, and you certainly don't know me. <laughs> right? So we got a whole lot of that, a whole lot of that. Church is just telling you about this Jesus and what he's going to do for you. Jesus and what he's done for you. Jesus, Jesus died for you. He died for your sins. He went to the cross. Well, I'm proud to be an American where at least I know I'm free. And I won't forget the man who died to give that. Anybody could have died for your freedom. It ain't about that. It's not, it doesn't do the honor to them or to Yeshua to make this general idea of a somebody who died for your freedom, died protecting it, that's an honor all its own. Amen. That's an honor all its own. And, and, and you take away from the glory and the power of that who have done that, these protectors. But Yeshua is the actual author of it. He's the actual author of it. And if you just, if you just tell people that he loves you because you died for you, that's something, y'all, that anybody can be, if you're conformed to the world and you have this idea of somebody who's going to die for your freedom, that could have been anybody. Yep. That could have been anybody. You see what I'm saying? It's not a dishonoring of anybody else. It's a dishonoring of what people uh, uh, put, that, put that idea on. And that doesn't do the people the service that is, that's due them. Whereas Yeshua, you got to actually know who he is. You have to know what qualifies him to be the one exclusive, to not only be the one who died for us, but is the only one qualified to liberate us from death. Amen. That's, that's a whole <laughs> nother kind of sacrifice right yeah. there, right? So you got to know who he is. It's just not just about, oh, I, G I love Jesus because he died for me. Now, okay, well, if you love Jesus, well, let's actually learn about him. Yeah. You got to learn about it. You can't just say, oh, Jesus loves me, and I can go ahead and he forgave my sins, and he died for me, and, and that's it. No, if you love him, you start learning about him. That's when you actually learn the law. You learn the logos. You learn the logic. You learn the reason. And yeah. we learn how to live together in peace as much as possible possible mm -hmm. where it's possible here so all right y'all
Ah. Wow. <laughs> yep. Got your zeal today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I wanted to, I wanted to go in on it because people they take they take Paul, man, and they 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 read what he says and. And it's like you have those who uh, like when we get into 13, uh, especially when we get into 13, people take that to mean like, uh, you know, uh, all the state should have all authority and all this sort of. Right. And, and they'll use Paul to um, things like, uh, well, according to Paul, uh, if you want to be single, you can stay single and you shouldn't marry. And they, 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 they take snapshots of what uh, I'm just giving an example of snapshots of what Paul says, whether it's relationships or whether it's the state or, you know, what you're going to give authority to. And they take snapshots of that, and it's like, dude, you, you didn't square that by everything else. Not only did Paul say, but what the rest of the word of God says. Yeah. Paul is saying what he's saying is endorsed by the Holy Spirit. It is conducive what the word of God says when you put it in full biblical context. But if you just read it out of context, what Paul yeah. says, if, I mean, if you read it, just isolate these scriptures. You can't do that because it will seem like it's totally inconsistent and in conflict with the word of God. Yeah. It will sound like it's a contradiction. You got to. That's why Paul says, I'm speaking to those who know the law. Yes. I'm speaking to those who've actually read everything else. <laughs> right. You can't just zero on these micro this this microcosm of what Paul says. So that's why, you know, I, I really wanted to dig into what Paul is talking about here, because a lot of people, they have this left field view of where Paul is coming from. And it's like, man, that's not where Paul is, man. You got, let's, let's bring it back. Let's bring yeah. it back and square that by the word of God. So I really wanted to, you know, really kind of, you know, dig in uh, to where Paul is coming from and see, and y'all can see how it's more, I hope that where y'all can see how it's more relevant and applicable to your life and that this isn't just some archaic, uh, out of dated writing uh, that was just for his day. Well, how you can see that it really applies to today. Oh, yeah. And if you really, and uh, whether it's between uh, family members, business, uh, uh, in your municipalities, and how you can see is ha how it's happening in your in your localities and stuff like that. How this stuff plays out when you're dealing with people, whether it's education uh, at, at the uh, K through 12, or whether it's higher learning, this stuff is still relevant. Amen. It's showing you how these behaviors are coming out today. Right. And how people use the resources that they have without a godly basis. And you see what's happening, you know, in the world around you. It's like, dude, dude God ain't in that, mm -hmm. you know, and, and Paul gave us the heads up on this. Right. So I hope folks can see that and, um, you know, and hope that, uh, you know, or maybe be encouraged. You know, as you know, like I, as as you've heard from my experience, I'm tired. You know, I'm it's, I'm I'm burnt. I'm burnt out, and uh, I rely on the strength of the Lord to keep me going. You know, to keep going through this. And I look at you know the things that what Paul went through. I'm like, man, let me just go ahead and get this pre workout and this coffee in me. <laughs> Again, <laughs> thank you, Jesus, for coffee and and uh, you know Holy Spirit. You know, uh, uh, let me let me go ahead and stir that up in there too. And let's just get back to work because, uh, hey, it could be a lot worse. I'm thankful to God that it ain't. So let me just go ahead and knock it off my butt hurt and just keep on going. <laughs> All right. All right, y'all. CJ and I say thank you for, yes. uh, you know, hanging in there with us and fellowshipping with us. Um, the Lord shalom to y'all. Yes. And uh, his healing word, you know, may his healing word, healing word work in you and radiate through you and, uh, you know, and bless others. Um, you know, let's be a blessing to him, blessing the folks, pray for our enemies, you know, yes. pray for people to receive his peace and truth. May his peace and truth, you know, saturate us. And, um, you know, let's uh, do what we can to be that effective salt and light, you know, preserve, uh, you know, what he's blessed us with as, you know, as long as, you know, we can, yes. um, you know, for, for as his will warrants. All right, y'all. Blessings. Blessings.